a sec, I go go touch Hey, we go drive around if I my Porsche. Baby, pana, they say you like you all I, I get you all up. Baby, pana, anywhere that you go, I go follow you to go. Hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl mercy thank you so much for joining us so today i'm doing a makeup tutorial with one brand and that brand is maybelline as you guys voted for on instagram so thank you for those who voted um here i'm just doing my eyebrows i'm using their total temptation brow definer in deep brown and i actually really like this product i don't really use drugstore products for my brows but this one was pretty good it was very sturdy very dark and i really enjoyed using it as you can see here it did a great job and then i'm grabbing their maybelline fit me concealer in cafe and that's the number 30 to clean up under my eyebrows to make it nice and crisp look at that i love it and of course I have to go on to foundation. Um, I did not get a chance to grab their primer for some, whatever reason I forgot it. So I'm just going to use their setting spray as my primer. Works the same. Um, use a clean beauty blender as always to blend that out. And you guys know that I love this foundation. It's their Maybelline Dewy Smooth uh, Foundation in 355 Coconut. It's one of my favorites. You guys know I'm an OG to Maybelline so I already love this product. Conceal with that same concealer we used to create to creep oh lord hallelujah <laughs> to clean up your brows blend 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 make sure that everything is good i did use a, the abh concealer i mean sorry i did use the abh contour palette just because i did not find anything that maybelline has that fit my skin tone to contour so now it's time to set under the eyes. I'm using their Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder, which I ended up loving. I've had this in my collection since last summer. I used it once. It didn't really do a good job, so I kind of just left it alone. But I realized that I wasn't using it correctly. Um, this is the type of product that you should build on. Like, you shouldn't just put one layer. You should put maybe, you know, two and a half, I guess, of this product as you're going, not all at once. Like, as you're going through your makeup, just keep on adding a little bit more here and there and then it just stays on eventually and it's just oh, it's such a beautiful finish i love it so much there i'm just cleaning up the contour lines to make sure they're prominent and well seen i've also had this palette for a while it's the city mini palette that makeup shayla did in collaboration with maybelline of course and it's really really good it's very pigmented as you can see that's just the brown shade y'all like it's one of the best brown shades i've used from the drugstore it's really really good really buttery it applies so well and blends beautifully and then i'm gonna go in with that purple shade i went with i went in with my finger as first just to see how pigmented it was and then i just wanted it to be a little bit more dramatic so i went in with the setting spray or i wet the brush with the setting spray just to make sure that the color popped a little bit more and then I'm just blending that out to make sure that the edges are seamless. And then we grab that gold shade, y'all. That gold shade, I'm telling you, for your inner tear duct, it's just, you're just gonna be gleaming. I'm telling you, it's gonna be gleaming. If you have any fallout, just use that setting powder to clean and sharpen the edge of the eyeshadow. And then use that same brown that we used in the crease to smoke out your bottom lash line. I did use some lashes, I did not film it. I used fat ass lashes in. Brooklyn Kitty. I also forgot to mention that I did use their Total Temptation Mascara in Very Black. And y'all, for the under eye security, we use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Powder. When you set your concealer and stuff, you need to make sure that when you use the powder, you go back and use like some type of loose or skin finishing powder underneath just to make sure that you don't get flashback and it stays on. That's why I call it the under eye security. Set your face with the setting mist. I think it's called the, yes, it's called the Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray. Um, I mean, it's pretty good. It's just like a regular, regular, schmegula setting spray. So I went to Walmart and I went wild. I grabbed one of their newest highlighters. It's Molten Topaz. The one I normally use is Molten Gold and it's really, really pretty. But this one has a more subtle glow. It's very buildable, but it's so beautiful. Look at this glow, y'all. Like it melts into your skin. And of course, make sure you're blending that out so that you don't have any harsh highlight lines because those are the worst. And look at that. Y'all, that look is fire. I'm telling you. <laughs> telling you, I'm in love with it. Oh my gosh. 
and then just you know clean up underneath your contour if you have any powder left here we're just putting or putting on any brown liner that you own you can use chestnut anything works and then I'm using their lipstick in touchable taupe and that's about it I did add a gloss in the end but that's pretty much it I hope you guys really enjoyed this look it came out so beautifully I'll see you all in my next video Bye.